What's up everyone and happy Friday. It is almost 4.30 and if you can hear in the background, I have coffee brewing and that's because I'm so tired. Um, I seem like I have a lot of energy but I feel like when I do these videos I'm just naturally energetic sometimes but I'm just really really tired I stayed up last night to do my hair I know it doesn't look like it but this is actually stretching or this doing what I did last night actually stretches my hair without um having to blow dry because I'm really trying not to put any heat on it because I just really haven't been taking care of my hair lately like I don't know what's been wrong with me but it's just been awful but um so I'm trying to do some different things with my hair ultimately really just waiting until December because in December I'm getting my hair cut um but hope everyone is having a great Friday I feel extremely blessed this Friday honestly and really quick just to talk about this before I move on um especially because I haven't talked to you guys since Monday I did not do my video on Wednesday because the topic this week, I just didn't want my videos to be redundant. Didn't put a post up yesterday or Wednesday, so I apologize for that. But um, it was an oversight. Um, but I've just been feeling really blessed lately. Like God has really been coming through in my life. And it's honestly because I set a goal to be consistent and not just consistent in the things that I'm doing for, you know other things so not like not just consistent and be blessed not just consistent in my work or working out but consistent in making sure I spend time with him and I really haven't even been spending enough time with him but I've just been making sure to give honor and credit where it's due and I literally cannot take credit for anything that has recently happened in my life and it's been a lot like small things too like not even major things but just small ways that I've just been seeing God move and you know, all glory and honor to God for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about today. As always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. Today is our last day talking about being fruitful. Tomorrow I'm going to go live. I don't have a special guest because, well, I'll talk about it in tomorrow's live. But we have had a month full of just really powerful discussions talking about our fruit, being fruitful, um our seasons, how to labor our fruit, how to um, multiply our fruit. And so it ultimately ends or it ultimately leads up to enjoying our fruit, which is what we're going to talk about today. And so honestly, this discussion isn't going to be a long discussion, which is why I didn't want to do a video on Wednesday. But when we're, talk when we're talking about enjoying our fruit, we have put so much labor and intention and purpose and just work, blood, sweat, and tears into making sure that not only do we have fruit to be enjoyed, but we are fruitful people. And by that, I mean that it's easy for someone, or I won't say it's easy, but in this fruitful discussion or in this topic this month, we've talked a lot about just laboring your fruit. So we talked about like intangible fruit versus intangible or tangible versus intangible fruit and things like that. But we really haven't talked about being a fruit. Well, we did a little bit of the first week, but being a fruitful person and making sure that that is a part of our lifestyle, because we don't want to just stop at producing whatever fruit you know, we produced. We want to make sure that it is ingrained in us so that every single day we are um, being fruitful. And that really goes, that really speaks more towards those intangible things. So every single day we are planting seeds of love. We are planting seeds of joy. We are planting seeds of peace. And the reason for that being not only for enjoyment, but because we want those positive things or those good fruit to multiply on their own which they will but speaking of enjoying our fruit um this is honestly the time where you can really just kick back and um just really take a look and observe in all of the great ways that you have that you have um endured through in order to make sure that your fruit prosper but also really kick back and really thank god and appreciate god for allowing you just to be fruitful in this season 
um, earlier in the month, we talked about, you know, seasons of, you know, seasons that didn't yield fruit and seasons that you were yielding fruit. And I'm telling you, like when you're in a season where you're not producing any fruit, you will, you will appreciate those fruit bearing seasons so much more because honestly, like things are just going to be flowing from you and you're just going to be multiplying without even having to do a lot of labor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So enjoying it doesn't just mean giving yourself a pat on the back. It also means thanking God for the things that he has brought you to the seasons where you were dormant. Okay. The seasons that he had you just laboring, laboring, laboring without actually seeing a yield and now looking at it and saying, you know, it was all worth it. Also about self-reflection, okay? Enjoying things is also about self-reflection. Making sure that you understand like, hey, like I have a great, I produce something great here, but what are some things that I could have done better in order to produce something fabulous or in order to take it to the next step, okay? So also you want to make sure you reflect on some things too. Um, that way for your next fruit, because again, we are fruitful people and we're not just going to stop at one specific fruit, but we're looking to build gardens. Okay. People we're looking for, um, uh, pasture fields. Okay. Okay. We're looking for orchids, orchids. We're looking for orchids and I'm going to stop there cause I, I messed it up, but we are looking to be fruitful people. So not only are we just stopping here, stopping here, but we're also being fruitful in our everyday life. Um, so yeah, self-reflection is also about thinking of the next fruit or the next season that you're going to be in that's going to be bearing fruit too. And then, of course, just going through that whole process again, multiplying, laboring, the hows and the whys, all of that. So that is our video for today. Again, I will be going live tomorrow. It's just going to be me, myself, and I. No special guest this month, but pray for me. Hopefully next month we'll have a special guest that will be able to provide some insights on some things that we have talked about. So hope everyone has a great Friday. I will make sure to post on Facebook and Instagram before I go live tomorrow. It'll It'll more than likely be in the afternoon. So hope everyone has a great day today and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.